I have added two green chilies and little bit of uh, small piece of ginger to the soaked urad dal. Uh, I, I soaked urad dal today morning around 8 and now the time is uh, uh, evening 4. So normally I, I don't uh, soak just for 2-3 hours, I just let it soak for 5-6 uh, hours. So I am grinding the urad dal now. If you can see, it is quite thick right now. And I am sort of pouring a little bit of water to it. Now you can see the consistency of this batter. It's a fine paste, sort of a fine batter. So let's take it out. Hope uh, you can see the consistency of the batter. It's nice smooth. Now I'm adding uh, finely chopped onions. Uh, it's uh, a medium sized onion. Now I'm add adding uh, finely chopped green chilies. Um, remember we have already added uh, two green chilies while grinding. Uh, if you have small kids at home, uh, maybe you can avoid this finely chopped green chilies and just um, add it while grinding. Uh, and if you wish, you can also add uh, red chilies instead of green chilies while grinding. Now let's add... Um, the salt to it. Let's mix it, everything together. I forgot to mention uh, now I'm going to add uh, about one tablespoon of rice flour to, to this and mix the uh, batter. Now I've mixed everything. Um, now you can actually keep the batter in the fridge. Uh, you can um, grind the batter the previous day and then you can keep it in the fridge if you want. Uh, but uh, before making vada, just take it out from the fridge, keep it for 5 minutes outside and then you can make vada. And uh, if you can hear the sound of the batter, uh, this is how the consistency will sound like.